franchise hockey manager nine just came out um so we're gonna hop right into this um it's going to be some ncaa action as uh that is a new feature in the game so we're just gonna hop right into this we're gonna be the quinnipiac bobcats so i went to quinnipiac for a few years um wound up transferring but still a big fan of their hockey team um it was really nice to go to a school that had a division one hockey team so yeah we're gonna go with them uh i'm gonna be cutting these episodes up a bit i'm gonna try to keep them short just from the standpoint of i have horrible internet and need to upload these so if i can keep these in the 10 to 20 minute range that'd be great so i'll see you on the other side of this loading screen challenge mode yes um yep we can earn achievements and stuff this way and i'm not going to be looking to be the owner or anything um and the long-term simulation only available during the off season that's okay so we're going to set up our guy here Uh, so yeah, we'll be general manager and head coach. We're gonna select our team here, NCAA, Quinnipiac Bobcats. Now they don't have all the. Um, I don't need to have a national team. They don't have all the logos and stuff in there. There's gonna be mods that bring them in. Uh, there were mods in previous games too. So I'll install one of those once they're up to date. Obviously, it's release day, so not gonna be any mods out there ready to go quite yet. Um, but yeah, and we'll just keep the rest of the, the settings there. And I like going offensive and I like going physical. I don't want to be overly in any direction. Um, we should be a wheeler. Uh, it that actually doesn't matter. Maybe negotiator. Will that help when we're trying to get prospects to, uh, to commit to us? Maybe. Um, and then as a coach, what's, let's go with uh, good with kids. Uh, ideal for junior teams, specializes in getting the most out of younger players. So that's perfect. All right. So here we are. Welcome to Quinnipiac. I feel like I got one of these emails in the past. Uh, you've signed a two-year contract with an annual, a yearly, salary. salary. You've signed a two-year contract with... And yearly salary, I think that's supposed to be annual, that's why, of $130,000. Team owner is Dave Klein. And you have the following objective for the season, top quarter of the league, all right? Uh, I wonder, yeah, it's got to be the whole NCAA, uh, not just the conference. Your budget to achieve this is $4,800 in current payroll for your team is zero. Obviously, we're in college. We suggest you have a look at the team's roster, depth chart, and personnel to get familiar with the organization. The NCAA has no trade deadline, has no salary clap, and no salary floor. Um, so the reason I picked uh, Quinnipiac beyond... Um, having a history of have been at the school um is because they're a pretty good team but they still need a lift in order to get them to a national title um but they're one of those teams who qualifies for the tournament pretty often um and they've been to the frozen four a few times they've been to the final and lost um so they just need a little push um i don't need manager notes let's hop right into their roster here and I want to see, are these, I don't, oh, no, no, they do. These are real people. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that they had the actual, I was looking for one in particular. Uh, oh, Metza this year. Uh, um, he must be it. Yeah. He's a senior now. It looks like, um, yeah. So I recognize a few of these names, uh, Dejong I recognize. Um, so yeah. So here's our roster. Um, so this ain't great, but we do have like good capability. So if we, uh, well, good. We have Peretz here. He's a, he's a decent goalie. Um, so if we go here, Metza, 
great defenseman, and then Dejong. So our top two defense are great. That's awesome. And then we have good goaltending. Um, Brenda Moore, decent center. And then we got Graf, decent center. Now, the good thing is all of these guys have pretty high potential. Um, and even the guys that are... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, even the guys that have like a two and a half star are able to get to a two or a three. Um, two star up to a five. Lipkin. What's the asterisk mean? Yeah. Does it maybe mean they're a freshman? That's what it must mean. Yeah, they're freshmen because the rest have at least a... Oh, no, with Clark. Oh, no, he's played in the NCAA before. Okay, that's what it must mean. They're freshmen. Um, we'll just assume that until it's proven wrong. Also, I have to stress, this is my first playthrough of the game so far. We're going to make a lot of mistakes. I'm going to get a lot of facts wrong. Um, so take everything with a grain of salt, uh, or at least most things with a grain of salt. And if you know some more than I do about this game, um, about this game in particular anyway, let me know. Also, in the past, I've gotten names wrong. Uh, I'll show a clip of when I got certain players wrong right here, maybe. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you want to look at the team's history, I want to see how far back this goes, because it'll show. Yeah, so see, they they make the playoffs a decent number of times. Oh, is the X the only time they've made the playoffs, actually? Yeah. So they... I don't even know if they were Division One from the start, were they? Um, but anyway, yeah. So let's make the playoffs again this year. <clears throat> that that that's my goal. I don't care what the what the owner says. I think actually, if we're in that top twenty five percent, we're basically into the tournament. So um, obviously, no trade blocks, no waivers, no in uh, well, no injuries yet. Uh, but no trading. So another good reason to start in the NCAA, the reason I'm excited to, is that we're going to get right into the action. It's September. Um, so before anything comes up in terms of getting players or anything, you know, you're not dealing with trades and roster moves so much. It's mostly your lineup. And then it's um, your tactics as well, which one of the updates here is it shows what tactic is good for what players? Um, which is very, very, very helpful. Um, so, look at the breakout. It's a bad fit for these folks. And if it doesn't list anyone, I assume it's just okay. Um, so, see, this four check ain't great for a lot of people. It is for Dijon, but... So our four check, I kind of want to do a two one two, and that's not going to work out. So we'll do a two three, nope. A one two two, torpedo, nope. Two three press, yeah, that's not really helping anyone. So maybe, I guess one one three is a decent way to go. It feels a little defensive, but um, you know what? We have a good defense. Our offense is lacking a little bit, so I guess we'll go with that. Not a big fan of the one one three at all, uh, but the one three one is worse, which is this. Um, so I think we'll go. Let's just look through which ones are best. The retreat ain't bad. I don't like the trap, or at least the one three one trap. Uh. I mean, this works for everyone. Why don't we just go with a one one three here too? Let's just keep it up. Um, and then D zone. All right, we'll just stick with what they had. Um, before I go into any of these other things, I mean, that's a good indicator of how it works. And basically, we're going to be editing the tactics a lot, which is something I didn't really focus on in the past. And we'll edit the lines. Why is Dijon? Oh, I thought he was a right D. I misread that. He's a right wing. There's already a mistake. Um...
Yeah, but at least now we're a little well balanced, I suppose. Um, in terms of offense and defense. Yeah, I don't know why I thought he was right D. I must have looked at somebody else. But yeah, good goalie, good right wing, good defense. Uh, our centers are decent. And then... We're, so we're weak on lefty. We're pretty dang. We, I, I guess we're going to be having these right defensemen also playing on the left. Anyway, we're just going to continue and see what happens. Um, obviously, there aren't any games yet. So let's wait until we can take some actions. Um, and watching the live stream that the devs did, it seems like November 10th is a big date in terms of players committing. Um but not exactly sure. So we have a game tomorrow, actually, versus Northeastern. Uh, and I want to make sure it's a preseason game. Metza seems to be out of shape. I'm just going to ignore it. He went on vacation recently. Whatever. Summer break, man. Campbell is academically ineligible. We'll leave our program play. Oh. Yeah, I don't, um, no, I don't want to redshirt him. I don't really care about losing it. This guy is also, and you're not really, I think I only get a certain number of redshirts per year. We're going to give this guy it, um, because he's a little better. So we'll go with that. Um, cool. Uh, so yeah, wait. Let's uh, let's look at our schedule. Uh, preseason, 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 and the regular season starts in October versus BC. Um, alrighty, I can't wait to get the actual logos and stuff in here. The Quinnipiac logo is great. You can see it on the thumbnail. Um, and also their jerseys are are fantastic. Um, one of the team, one of the reasons I still love them so much is those jerseys are just fire. Um, especially the yellow ones that I think are considered the alternates, even though they, I feel like they wear them more than any other jersey. Anyway, we're going to play this game with the lines, how they are. And that's how we'll kind of evaluate. Oh, we have to, uh, set up the organization again. So... Yeah, I think we're not going to mess with anything right now. We're going to see how this goes, though. I do want to see who's partnering with Metza. McGee, where are ye? Where are ye? Uh, 1.5. Are you a senior? I wish it would. It says the age. Oh, you know what? There must be a way to see. Oh, yeah. Year. So who's our best... Now the stars don't mean freshman. I gotta figure out what these stars mean. It might just mean that they haven't played in the NCAA and they opted for some junior leagues. Maybe that's it. Anyway, this guy's redshirted. Um scholarship. Full, full. Let's see what we got. Yeah. All our best guys are gonna be full. But he's partial. The none for these folks. Well, Campbell, you missed your chance anyway. Gotta be good academically, man. So we're just going to play this game. Um, and we'll sim it. It's preseason. The first game of the season, maybe we'll like play out a little bit. 5-0 uh, whopping. Jesus, let's look. Yeah, that's not good. Where's uh, post-game analysis? Big face-off advantage. Beaten by puck handler frequently. Beaten ten times, Friedman. Wow, I like I like this. I like this analysis. Whoa. I don't know what I clicked there. I think I right-clicked and it freaked out. Um, busiest players. <laughs> Does that just mean they have the most ice time? Uh, I guess that would make sense. It's two defense. And then, was that? Is this guy our top center? He, I, he might be. Um, anyway, I clicked out of that. Whatever. Let's look at our lines. Yeah, graphs are top center. So, yeah, that must have been... Well, I wish I could just hit uh, 
Control Z and undo that. That was crap. Put you back in there. Um, so we may need to evaluate some of our strategies. We have three games to do this. Um, all right, and we got our ticket numbers announced here. 2,000. Our, our stadium seat's 5,000, if I'm not incorrect. It's actually a pretty new stadium. Um, it's a really good stadium. They actually have the... Uh, the basketball court on another ring, uh, wing, excuse me, so they can play games simultaneously and they just share the concessions and the bathrooms and stuff in the middle. Um, and I don't really think they wind up scheduling games at the same time, but one team can practice, one team can play a game. Um, it's actually a, it's a really cool setup and beneficial to the athletic program because basketball and hockey are their two biggest sports. Um, Anyway, let's go to transactions just to see. So free agent. Oh, these are NHL free agents. Graduating. So can we get a guy to transfer? <laughs> um, we're gonna learn about this as we go along. Graduating trade block waivers. Well, it's gonna come to us when it's time to do anything. Let's play this game against RTI, um, or RIT, what the hell was it? I know the RIT Tigers. Um, so let's play this game. I'm not going to edit any of the settings or the tactics, I can, I should say, yet. Um, and just see how we do. All right, we lost. We've only scored one goal this, <laughs> this preseason in two games. Um, so yeah, something needs to change. Let's go... I did say I wanted to be an offensive kind of guy. I want to lean towards offense. So let's not neutral zone offense. Let's not dump in. Let's go activate a D. We're going to get Metza there. It's not a great fit for McGee or Johnson. He's on our third pair, but this is a great for uh, Metza. So let's just make sure a lot of these are good for Metza. Flexible reaction. Should we go stretch pass here? No, it's not working for a lot of people. Through center. Could play it through graph. That's good. Um, cycle. We do want to cycle. I wonder. This isn't great for Metsa. Eh? Stretch the zone. No, let's cycle it. Uh, four check. We got the two three press. That didn't really work out. Let's go like one one two two one two. I like having an aggressive four check, but yeah. And then neutral zone. You go wide. You could play a trap. There just doesn't seem to be one that's like great. Oh, okay. This is a good fit for. That's a bad fit for a lot of people. All right. Let's go with a one, two, two lock. Increases chance of getting a takeaway um, in the middle of the ice during the breakout. Best use with an left wing with good positioning and checking skills. Strong versus funnel weak in wide drive. Left wing plays back. You know what? Let's go for that right now. Um, so the D zone coverage. 2-3 wasn't working out great. Should we just go man on man? I kind of like just kind of playing the strict zonal or sagging zone. Strict zone. Assign strict zonal matchups in the defensive zone works best when all players have good positioning skills. Strong versus stretch um, the zone. Weak versus crash the net. It's a bad fit for a lot of guys. Half isola reduces chance of offensive team getting into position to shoot from the outside from outside the slot. Works best with a center with good defensive awareness. I guess graph isn't that. Uh, um, and Brent is another one our centers. So strong versus two. Let's just go. I don't know how heavily to like weight this. I think it's just based on their play style. Um, you know what? Let's just go two, th two, three. Let's keep it that. Uh, power play. So drop pass swing. Looks like it works for Dijon and Metza. We'll go with that. Um, 
Ozone attacking overload, box plus one, one, three, one, umbrella, spread, slot set, motion two, three, behind the net. That doesn't work for everyone. Umbrella is interesting. Uh, works for Dijon and Metza. Graf as well. Uh, Brindamore as well. So that's good. And then we're going to power play defense. Pursue aggressively, stay on your ground, back up. No, let's pursue aggressively. Uh, Shorthanded four check, tandem sounds pretty good. Do a passive one three. I think I'm going to do that. Um, Could go aggressive. No, let's do a tandem four check. Has um the two wings, kind or the two forwards, I should say, working together there. Um, diamond breast collapse the net maybe. It's good for Mets up. Basic box reduces chance of power play team getting into good position to shoot works best with defense move with good positioning skills, and then um. Dump and retreat. Like I don't. All right, we'll counter attack. Though possession could be, yeah, it just doesn't work for a lot of people. We'll just do counter attack. Um, and then we want to have our attacking go up. We want some aggressiveness. Uh, pressure will leave. Um, tempo. Hitting. Uh, you know what? Hitting, we're just going to keep in the middle. Um, let's leave it at that for now. And then let's go. Let's go to our line. So we got Lipkin. Where are you, Lipkin? Lipkin's here. Oh, he can play center too. So he's got two star average. But it looks like we don't really have anyone better, huh? Yeah. Um, and then Dijon's the uh, three and a half. Graph is a two and a half. So I think that's a solid first line. And then I wish we could get a better left defenseman to play with uh to play with Metza, but I mean I guess we have a two star here, but we're gonna wait, why is No, I didn't wanna okay. We're gonna do this. It might just be doing that because it's preseason. That's probably what it is. I hope that didn't mess up our tactics. No, it doesn't at all. Good. Um, let's just do that. It's one more preseason, and then we're going to put Graf back in, um, set up set up some good lines, uh, actually take a look. Uh, that will actually probably be done in the next episode. Um, we'll wrap up here against Minnesota State. Oh, and I don't, I don't want all these messages. I'll figure that out off screen um yeah let's 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 go giving our stars the night off <laughs> and we can all right let's chalk it up to it's a rusty start uh let let's chalk it up to that um that's gonna be this episode obviously we have a little work to do we're gonna mess with the tactics a lot um and and the lines too uh but we'll we'll do that in the next video so thanks for watching I'll see you there.